Warren Peterson, who was in a band with me as my observation, played guitar at my wedding. After a three-year-plus battle with ALS, passed away this spring. Today is his birthday. And we went for a walk for ALS in 08, in which, and this is the t-shirts we got from it. And I'm like, I'd never wear this otherwise, so I'm going to wear it now. And at the funeral services, they gave out happy faces and happy pins, and they said, you have to actually be happy. So that's uh, so what I'm going to do today. And a happy fa and he's got a happy face on his guitar because he was there for it. Just, and, and I just got a card thanking us for being at the services today on his birthday and I was like oh that's hurting um, but what I wanted to do because it was his birthday is I wanted to sing things that um, you may have heard before but with MFV we did covers of songs but we did slow and strip versions of a couple of the songs so we were thinking of doing that and I thought that John, who was out of town this week, wouldn't even be here, and that was why I bought my painting that Cindy Johnson did of him, me and the guitar, always in the same mood. That's what it says on it, like, oh, that's so awesome. But then I showed up, and I'm like, oh, you got your guitar. So I'm going to do poems, which have nothing to do with Warren. <laughs> but I will have songs that one I did in between them. I pick uh, poems that related to actually the words of the songs. Um, so I'm going to start with a poem that is called, as soon as I find that down here, this poem is called Chances One. Yes, it's yes. You asked me before if there were only so many loves in your life. If there were only so many chances for love. And I said, yes. And I know that you think it's because of fate or God or religion. But I know that there are only so many chances to feel that bond. That there can only be so many people who perfectly fit you. Who fit like a glove. Who wants what you want? Who feels like I feel? Who dreams what you dream? You ask me if there are only so many loves who dream what you dream. You ask me if there are only so many loves. And the answer is yes. Oh, yes. It's yes. This. This was kind of sort of related to um, I Need You, but I think it's more related to the next song, London, which will be by the Smiths. This is called Decision. My heart is already torn apart from you. All I ask is your decision. Is that too much to ask? All I ask is your decision. Must you break my heart in two? You break down my defenses with your stare. All I ask is your decision, or must my heart you tear? All I ask is your decision, or, or do you even care? I think I've taken all that I could take. All I ask is your decision. I, is it one that you cannot make? All I ask is your decision. How long must I now ache? You love me, but you have her by your side. All I ask is a decision. Is it hard for you to hide? All I ask is a decision. It's with me you can fight. All I ask is your decision. Does she know how you've lied? You say you want me, but you want her too. All I ask is your decision. I will not wait for you. All I ask is your decision. I will not be your fool. Thanks. I am holding in my hand pocket poetry. Um, I'm going to do a really a Twitter length poem, and you get one because you're over here. And <laughs> and and people who don't see things. Um, people and you're from out of state, so you're getting one. I don't know. I just I, I only have three of them, so you're getting them. Um, pocket poetry. I decided to start a Twitter account because you can come up with.
with poems that are 140 characters or fewer. Something really stupid short. And if you don't have a long ass story behind it, so why not you? And so, and I did this pocket poetry and I've modified it for every, every show. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to put this Twitter like poem in. I'll just modify it and give it out to everybody. So, um, there's a show one called Choices, and which so fits with making the right decision. Don't hate yourself for the choices you make. Just make the right choices. In the back and forth. In the back and forth. Uh, this last piece I was going to do for this piece, as I said, these, although I was doing songs that Warren and I had covered, this has nothing to do with Warren. Um, <laughs> really? Really it doesn't? Um, and this is a piece I decided to do that was recently written called Update 2011 on the man who loved me. It's approaching the anniversary since you died. But the anniversary of the date we started dating is closer. And that we dated, I, I never got too close because I knew you'd pass away at an early age. Though I didn't know it would be that early. I never got too close. You told me you loved me and I think I hurt you when I said I couldn't reciprocate. I think I felt the way you did, but I couldn't take that final leap. But I remember how you said you loved me, and then you would break up with me. <laughs> and it wouldn't break my heart, of course. It would piss me off when I knew I was better than you, and you had the audacity to break up with me. <laughs> But it's approaching that anniversary now, and all I wonder now is how many chemicals they used in you to preserve you before they buried you. And I wonder how well your flesh has held up after you started to decompose. I'm sorry. I don't want to think of you as decomposing, but... I don't want to think of you as dead. So, do I need an update? Or do I need these reminders as it approaches our anniversary? Thank you. I've had enough.